Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my birthday thrifting haul. Now in part one, I actually showed you guys all of the stuff that I got from Double Take. Now for this one, this part two video, I'm gonna be showing you all the stuff that I got from Salvation Army and Value Village. So these are basically my top three favorite thrifting stores at the moment. So yeah, that is exactly why. I went there for my birthday. You know, birthday luck is so, so real, especially when it comes to thrifting. So if your birthday's coming up, feel free to go to any thrift store that you love because the thrifting gods are definitely gonna be with you and you're gonna end up finding tons of amazing stuff. I'm so super excited to show you guys everything that I got. Let's start it off with something I didn't even buy. It's actually one of my friends who bought this for me and I know that she bought it from Salvation Army. I just wanted to show you guys just how amazing the stuff in Salvation Army or any thrift store is. So you can actually find brand new with tags stuff like this one. So this one still has the original tag. It is from the brand Zara and Zara is my ultimate favorite brand and it just so happens that Salvation Army always gets a shipment of these excess Zara pieces and they still have the tags on it and this one is one of them that sadly I did not find. My friend found it for me and then she gave it to me as a birthday gift and I just special shout out to you Megan because this is amazing. I shop at Salvation Army all the time and I've never found something like this, like a beach wedding vibe type of dress. So I am so super excited to wear this out. Another thing Megan found is this gorgeous, stagey green blazer. And of course, the brand is Zara. Pretty sure she found this in Salvation Army as well. I have no idea how much she spent on it, but this was also one of her birthday gifts to me and I was so super excited because this is one of the things like I know I always mention that green is not a color that I normally go for but for some reason this shade of green it just looks really luxe and beautiful and it's just overall a really great looking blazer. If you guys know me then you would know that this is basically my everyday style. This is my casual look okay if i'm going to the grocery i'm visiting a friend's house this is the look it looks like i'm going to the office but i'm really not and my office looks are a bit elevated <laughs> um more elevated than this but this blazer it really matches with that overall vibe that i do for like an everyday casual look i have been looking for a beige or cream or white vest forever ever since the whole vest suit type of look just became a trend i realized that i would wear it even beyond the trend time what this one is from the brand the closet lover and i got it for 3.99 now this one i was so super excited because it has been on my wish list forever and this is one of the hardest things to find i have to say like even when i talk to other stores vintage stores thrift store sellers this is something that so many people are looking for but it's also something that's really hard to find even when they try to source it it's just not something you come by a lot so when i found this on my birthday i realized this was a meant to be situation now i was a little bit worried when the size read extra small but you know looking at it now it's just such a great fit we have a cropped little vest and it goes so well with what i'm wearing right now and i cannot wait to wear this to the office i just have this vision of doing this vest with some cream or beige pants and then i have a, a blazer as well it's just overall just a great neutral looking outfit and everything about this is perfection i love the buttons i love the fit it fits me perfectly the crop is really great as well and overall I'm just really loving this one. Definitely one of my favorites. I also found this gorgeous leather bag from Value Village. Now that particular branch was actually doing a closing down sale because they were transferring to a different location. So every single thing that you bought on that day would be 50% off. So this one, the original price was 
$10.49 so I got it for around $5 and this one is my favorite brand of course it is a bag from Zara now this one is actually lacking a strap but I can just attach any strap here and here and it's also really cute to wear it like this and it just matches this whole vibe that I'm going for I mean honestly the easiest way that I am styling myself is just pick one color and pick different pieces that have the same color and you'll just end up looking so put together I mean look at me right now this is just a random outfit I put together but because the colors are just so similar it looks really elevated so yeah, I really like this one I love that this bag is it looks really fluffy it reminds me of that coach bag I don't know if you know what I'm talking about like the coach tabby bag but it has like a little fluff to it it's a, it's like a pillow but this one I think is really great because it's just a nice classic minimalist type of bag this is super basic I just got a black cap just because I need this to protect myself from the sun especially when I'm walking my dog now this one I got for a dollar 99 now I really like this because it's velcro here at the back and it's kind of destroyed as well but you know I'm gonna fix that this is how the cap looks on I really love wearing caps especially when I'm walking my dog it's just such an easy thing to throw on and then you'll be protecting your face from the sun and everything and even if you're having a bad hair day it's just such a great thing to wear this next one is a piece of fabric so I got this one for a dollar 99 now just a little close-up of the fabric it's just a basic white cloth that I'm gonna use for an upcoming project I'm trying to make <laughs> A lot of things actually I'm trying to make a lot of things and this is one of the things I'm planning to do it's more of an experiment if I'm being honest I have no idea how to sew um, or if I even have the skills but I'm gonna try and I'm gonna make this into something amazing I have a curtain yes you heard that right this is a curtain um, that I got for two dollars and 99 cents now this one is a bit of a different type of fabric from the first one that I showed you. This one feels more leathery and has more weight to it. Well, because it's, you know, it's, um, it's a curtain. But yeah, basically, this is going to be the outside part of what I'm making. And then the other one, the first one I showed you, is going to be like the lining. Yes. I'm going to be doing a project that has something to do with lining. And this harder fabric wish me luck um i'm just hoping for the best in this journey i have been looking for these boots for about a year now i started looking last fall and it's already gonna be fall in a bit and that is the only time that i found it now these are your basic neutral classic beige boots and it took me a while to find it just because well my size is kind of a challenge i'm a size 8 everyone is a size 8 so makes it even harder to find shoes and i was also very particular about the type of boot that i wanted i don't like pointy toed ones i don't like heels that are too thin so when i saw this one on my birthday i just knew that she was the one i mean look at her she has a square toe style and the chunky heel this is like the most comfortable type of heel to wear the thicker the heel the better it is for your balance and this is from the brand streetwear society okay i don't think you guys can see that but yeah it's from streetwear society and i got it from the brand uh, i got it for 9.99 oh and it actually says that this is a size 9 which makes total sense by the way because i usually size up when i buy boots this is how she looks on it is just such a perfect pair of boots that would match anything i could wear black white beige whatever color and this would look so so good you know these boots feel so good so comfy and they also have the added bonus of looking super cute that is it that is everything i found on my birthday thrifting extravaganza thank you guys 
so so much for watching and i hope that this inspired you to go out there and try out secondhand clothing you can buy secondhand clothing from thrift stores vintage stores facebook marketplace from your neighbor garage sales there's just a lot of ways and a lot of opportunities for you to make more sustainable everyday choices and this is just one of the ways that i'm trying to live a more circular and sustainable type of life wow i did not know i would go into this tangent but anyway thank you guys so so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys next time Mwah.